Good morning, I'm Vasily and today we are going to talk about Punta Cana versus Puerto Plata. So let's go to some details, let's go to general information, some general facts, let's discuss everything including hotel infrastructure. So first of all, Puerto Plata is older than Punta Cana. Yes, uh, to my surprise, that's an older destination than Punta Cana. So definitely the hotel infrastructure is much older than in Punta Cana. So the most important fact that Punta Cana is a center right now of all activities, all touristic activities in the Dominican Republic. But at the same time, Puerto Plata is also very, very attractive place to stay. And there are some excursions, some activities that are unique for Puerto Plata. There are two life-changing things that if you are staying in Puerto Plata, that you definitely should visit. Uh, I fell in love in uh, Pico Isabel de Torres. That's a high mountain in uh, Puerto Plata. The view is breathtaking. If you're staying in Puerto Plata, you definitely should go it. Uh, there and see and observe it. So you can drive by car or you can use the transportation in the Puerto Plata. So basically, I would definitely recommend you to go there and observe this amazing, breathtaking view. The another thing that is really nearby to Puerto Plata is 27 waterfalls, uh, 27 charcos in Spanish. That's life changing and you should definitely visit this destination. By the way, you can organize this trip from Punta Cana. Let's talk about the beaches in the Dominican Republic and we're talking about Punta Cana and Puerto Plata. When we're talking about Punta Cana, we're covering Bavara Beach, we're covering like Macao, Juanillo in Cap Cana. So we're including all those places when we're talking about Punta Cana. Uh, so let's mention some of them. Uh, it's Bavaro Beach, uh, it's Macau Beach, it's Juanillo Beach that located in Capcana, uh, Playa de los Corrales, by the way, it's a part of Bavaro Beach, don't get confused. Playa Blanca, it's located in Punta Cana, so it's nearby to the airport. To get access, sometimes it's tricky, uh, you should pay $20 per person for consumption but sometimes you just can go for free. It's definitely worth going there and Playa Blanca is beautiful. beautiful. No doubts, if you go into Punta Cana, you should definitely visit this beach. Uh, so, and Playa Arena Gorda, so which is also beautiful and it's like uh, famous for its turquoise water. I would mention Uvero Alta also is a, is a part of Punta Cana region. So the, the difference is the sand over there is yellow. So it's much more kind of um, windy and stormy over there. So if you are looking for uh, big waves, if you like surfing, you definitely should go to Macau Beach or to Uvero Alta. Those kind of places are, you can, enjoy surfing, you can enjoy those kind of waves if you like them, so definitely those kind of beaches are for you. So now let's cover Puerto Plata, the north coast. By the way, Puerto Plata is located in north coast and Punta Cana located east coast. So uh, they are both on the Atlantic Ocean, but they are quite opposite. So the most popular beaches in Puerto Plata it's Cabareta Beach, it's famous for it's like kite surfing, windsurfing and surfing. It's really active. I, personally, I love Cabareta Beach because it's of its unique spirit, it's sporty and it's uh, really attractive in terms of different water sports. So if you like kite surfing, that's the best place to go. Uh, Playa Dorada, so it's one of the really popular uh, beaches in uh, Puerto Plata. Susua Beach, uh, really great, really nice, really attractive, unique with its kind. Cayo Arena, uh, so it's like a tiny coral island located northwest in the Dominican Republic. Playa Luperon is also attractive. El Encuentro Beach, and I would mention 
uh, Playa Grande in the area, but you definitely should drive and drive a lot from Puerto Plata to reach Playa Grande. It's beautiful. You can check this out. I will show some photos and I will send you some directions on Google map. So despite, for example, for quality of the infrastructure of Punta Cana, there is something really unique in Puerto Plata. If you're looking for some niche vacation, let's say you're going for uh, learning kite surf, uh, so definitely you should choose Puerto Plata and specifically Cabarete. So, and if you just want to have like modern infrastructure, you should go to Punta, uh, Punta Cana because the infrastructure is more modern, more developed in Punta Cana. And that's 100% true about Punta Cana. At the same time, you can have a great package. Prices could be cheaper in Puerto Plata. So it's up to you. You need to decide what kind of things is better for you and basically destination like it's similar but it's kind of like different in terms of infrastructure but if you go into all-inclusive hotel it's gonna be uh, almost the same the thing is that Punta Cana is more modern more developed right now Puerto Plata has its own tropical vibe and we should mention that experience in Puerto Plata more authentic when you travel, uh, when you just leave the resort. So you can definitely feel and experience local culture. To do the same in Punta Cana, you should go on excursion, see local farms, see some uh, local environment. You can go to Santo Domingo, you can visit Igwe, you can visit uh, some other small cities just to experience local culture. So in terms of this kind of unique experience for to have local experience, it's better to go to Puerto Plata because you just live in the resort and it's there. The most important fact that Puerto Plata was developed in 90s and Punta Cana is just modern development that was like built recently and it's still on development. A lot of uh, things are going on. A lot of resorts are still under construction. A lot of new uh, apart hotels are under construction. So a lot of modern infrastructure is building, is building right now in Punta Cana. Activities in Punta Cana versus Puerto Plata. So definitely, if you wanna experience some specific things, you need to decide for yourself what kind of things you wanna experience. But in general, Punta Cana right now is the center of all touristic activities. And if you are staying in Punta Cana, you can go anywhere from Punta Cana because right now it's a hub for all experiences, for all touristic attractions, and you can organize everything from Punta Cana. Nightlife. So if we are comparing Punta Cana to Puerto Plata, so the nightlife is more organized in Punta Cana, but at the same time, you can find a lot of local bars with nightlife in Puerto Plata. So they are more authentic, but Punta Cana, definitely you can find huge clubs like Oro, Coca Bongo, and Imagine to be there. So they are more modern, more developed. Weather comparison. So if we compare in Puerto Plata to Punta Cana, the weather is almost similar, but the climate in Puerto Plata probably more moderate than in Punta Cana. So why is everything developing right now in Punta Cana? Because Punta Cana is located east coast that protected by, uh, from hurricanes by uh, Puerto Rico as a natural shield. And it's a bay in Punta Cana and Bauro, it's like a bay. So it's protected by, uh, by the nature. So that's why Punta Cana is less affected by hurricanes and all those kind of disasters. That's why more people are building in Punta Cana and developing this area uh, in a bigger, better phase than in Puerto Plata. To make long story short, so Punta Cana is more modern and it's a central of all activities. Puerto Plata, you can find more reasonable prices you can find cheaper rates for Puerto Plata, but definitely it's not that modern as Punta Cana. This is why more people are choosing Punta Cana right now. And I will attach a comparison spreadsheet to this video so you can check for yourself and decide which destination is for you. I'm Vasily, please let me know Make a comment below this video. What do you think about this video and what is your favorite destination in the Dominican Republic? I'm very curious 
and really want to know about uh, facts and details and your vision of this topic. Let me know, please. Make a comment, subscribe to our channel, thumbs up. We really appreciate it because we are growing and we are working every single day to deliver the best information, the best interviews and the best comparisons for you, for your family and friends. See you soon in the Dominican Republic. I'm Vasily. See you soon, guys. Cheers.